What's going on guys? I am at One Garage Nashville, which this is one hell of a great location. As you can see, this is the intersection of 70 South and Broadway. This is one of the arguably busiest spots literally in Nashville. This place never really slows down. And this is the big promotional sign. And so this is one of those fun things that, uh, you know, if you're coming from that direction, you'll be able to see, and they usually have big, big ads and promotions. I actually, uh, if you care, I brought the Bentley Flying Spur out, the W12 engine tonight. I was planning on having four people in the car, but turned out we only needed two people in the car. So I could have brought the Vanquish or another one of the cars. But yeah, just wanted to share this with you. From the outside, you know, honestly, it doesn't look like much. This is a very, I don't know, famous necessarily, but recognizable landmark being 1616 Broadway. I mean, eventually they're going to build a big old, you know, class A high rise like they've done here and they've done here and there and there and there, right? I mean, it's surrounded by it. Gosh knows what this thing would be worth. All right, guys, I'm here with Zachary of One Garage here in Nashville. Man, give us the elevator pitch a little bit. Tell, yeah, us, the, sure. tell us what's going on here. Yeah, thanks. So we're building an elevated members club here with a uh, rooted in an automotive culture. We want to bring a lot of that European motorcycling culture here. Uh, and we want to be a the hub of the wheel for the car community here in Nashville. And we're in an incredible location right here, 1616 Broadway. It really is an incredible location. Like, just in the man, middle of everything. There's so much traffic on this road. The way I think about it, it's like it's just close enough to travel, but just far enough correct, away to have correct. some peace. Yes, you know? I don't have to deal with all the party wagons exactly, out here, right? Exactly. We only had to pass two on the way over here. That's a bonus, right? Exactly right. Well, it is nice when they don't have any clothes on, I will say that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> another, that's another story. So we're really excited about what's coming here. We're going to open up in September. Uh, for phase one. Phase one yeah. includes the uh, members lounge and the public side will be Lola's European Cafe. Yeah. Uh, cocktail, wine, coffee, a lot of small plates. It's an establishment up in Asbury Park. We're very excited about them as a food and beverage partner. Um, so we'll, we'll have them as our food and beverage partner. They'll serve both the member side and the public side. Yeah. And then uh, we'll have part of phase one getting this triangle space nice and enclosed, feeling like a little oasis City, sure. And we have our full parking lot behind, which is it's all going to be renovated soon. We got exactly permits, you right. said, or permits coming? Or I've got I've had the last chat with the lovely grease lady, <laughs> <laughs> and we've uh, cleared every we've cleared everything. So I'm expecting the permit tomorrow. Okay. Start swinging hammers legally um, here it's, soon, and it's a it's a very minimal renovation. Um, okay. We love to care for the garage. Obviously, this is one of the few spots in Nashville that has a lot of automotive floor. Sure. So it's been a shop since the 40s gates tire like the the sign was a coca-cola like cardboard or not cardboard, right? wooden sign there's back a lot in, like, of history with the spot 40s, 50s, exactly right so and when do you think you'll be actually done with renovations and doing the, doing your concept right? exactly right yeah um i mean i know it's always gonna take longer than it you probably think but i'm shooting for september okay, i'm shooting so. for september yeah. but we're we're starting to build a community we're starting to cultivate members uh, we want to find the right people in Nashville that, that are excited about what we're building here and want to be part of this community. Sure. And uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have some cool events over the next couple months as we gear up towards our grand opening. Um, but yeah, big things coming. Phase one, the club, the cafe, the experience of one garage. Uh, phase two coming at the end of the year, we'll have a little bit of a co-working space with some pop-ups for. Uh, the entrepreneurs that are attracted to our membership, we want to launch their merch, their, uh, do their art galleries, photo galleries, just photographers from New York that want to do some work here. Cool. And then on the first floor, we've got he's wine. I'm excited. I, love I know, I'm so he's excited. excited. He's just so like, excited. he's just going now. He's I know. Like, you know. The wine storage <laughs> and the speakeasy on the first floor. Is That's going to be fun, man. That's going to be the killer. about 100 people in here, it sounds like, when it's all said and done. You know, commonality, cars, connecting, motorcycles. Yeah, we'll, we'll grow it. I mean, I've got 130 people on the wait list right now. Uh, we haven't even done anything. Um, All right, so from, from yeah, basic membership. entry level, yeah. So $300 a month, okay. 2000 initiation fee. And that, that covers a lot. Um, I think that's a good barrier to entry, frankly. Yeah, it's, uh, it's affordable. We're it could be a write off for your business, right? Exactly right. Yeah. It's it's on par for a lot of the membership clubs that are coming up in Nashville. Because you mentioned Soho earlier, I picked up on that. Yep. What are they at? I mean, is that kind of on yeah, par? Yeah, they're with right them? around that point. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, annual uh, Soho, where Soho's more geared towards the artist, we're geared towards the enthusiast. Person that understands why I like that. fine cars, fine watches, and fine wine all go together. I like it. Yeah. Um, and speaking my language over here. Yeah, so. and, and I, I love what Soho offers. Uh, the Nashville location is super interesting. My frustration 
I'm the guy, I'm the operations guy that always has to work and I'm always getting kicked off at 6 p.m. and my team and you know, right. on the Pacific Coast is like, okay, I gotta go step outside for a phone call. Right. So we actually have a uh, co-working space going in on the third floor. Yep. Um, so really you're really gonna build this up then? So it's actually the building behind. Ah. So the way this, this whole block is designed is we have this like outdoor courtyard that leads into the renovated members club and the cafe that has a private parking lot. I'll show you guys that next. I'll yeah. walk, we'll walk a little bit back there because I didn't even know that. Right. So we've, got a, that we've got a parking garage subterranean. Really? I was wondering if you were going to drill into the concrete or something. Well, it's already yeah. existing. Yeah. yeah. 24 space parking garage. We'll do vehicle storage for our members starting nice. at 400 a month with uh, valet and detailing okay. services. $100 cheaper than the other places that I know. Exactly. And, and right here. Yeah. Right here. That's great. Um, and then first floor will be that wine storage speakeasy uh, setup that I, we talked about that I'm really excited about for our members. Um, a lot of our members already have collections of wine and being able to... So, okay. back to the, the things. <laughs> I don't need to cut you off. So I know this is going to be a 20 minute video if we're not yeah, careful, yeah. okay? I don't know how you, you guys hate me when I cut you off. You okay? said two minute pitch. Right? I know, right? Here we are, like 12 minutes later. All right, so $2,000, 300 a month. Now, if you want to be in the wine cellar, if you want to have the private storage, right? It's 400 bucks a month. Is there any other tiers or any other things that you're offering yet? So, we've played around with the founding member. And the founding member makes sense once the doors are open. They look at the club, they say, I like what, I like what this is. I want to be a part of it. I want to help build it. I'll go ahead and pay for the lifetime membership of the front. Uh, we're playing around with this concept. We've had some interest in it, but it doesn't really make sense until we're open. Uh, that will come with some serious perks as part of growing that brand. Sure. And other than that, we're trying to keep it easy, trying to keep it simple. And how many um, memberships are you going to cap it at? 500. 500. 500 and at this location. And obviously the, the parking, it's gone, it's gone. We yeah. have so much parking. We, we, there's actually, uh, we're partnering with the Conrad right here, they've got eight subterranean floors and they only oh, use two wow. of them. Seriously? Yeah. Right. Jeez. There's, a, there's a whole parking garage below here, which is wild. That is wild. So we'll uh, we'll partner with them for open floor. Okay. But we've got we've got 50, 60 spaces out back, including the parking, Damn. the top deck of the parking deck, the private parking, and then we can always park some of the some of the nice ones that roll in sure. out, out front here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well you got to because that's gonna be your billboard, right? Yeah, you don't want them right on that corner. Yeah, yeah. We'll have we'll have a nice little cedar fence set up, uh, so it won't feel like it won't feel like uh, you know there's a lot of people walking around, around right now, which is great. But we want to make sure that it's secure sure. um, and uh, private. So. Well, thank you for taking a few minutes to talk about <laughs> this incredible vision. I love this location. This is gonna, I think it's going to hit, guys. Uh, so hopefully you can hear me and him a right. little bit, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the facility. So this is on. the 28 spaces here for members. Okay. We've got the top deck of the parking garage outside of bank hours, which is pretty much anytime after five okay. and then all day on the weekends. Right. And then underneath that parking garage, we've got the subterranean level. Wow. That's the 24 spots for car storage and bike storage. And gear okay, so this is a different property with F and, F and M, right? F and M. So okay. The land, yeah, so they, your property is here, uh, and then. So we, we have two floors in this building. Really? The speakeasy and the wine cellar. So that's what you're going to renovate. The second floor uh, is, the, is the co-working space. Were you going to get any branding and signage on the building? Are they going to allow that, or? Um, no, we want to keep it. We want to keep it kind of. We'll just have our little logo on the door. You sure, know? sure. If you know, you know. So if you know, you know. Yeah, like you, you know, said, speakeasy concept. Got it.